Hi, Society Stitchers. I'm Katie. I'm Laura. And we are here to open day 14. It's on the bottom of the trick or treat box. So you can see all the different sides. Ours has gotten a little smushed because this yes. has been in and out of the demo box, all of the fun things. Um, we also, fun fact, put the sticker on the bottom to add a little extra support so that the item inside didn't just plop out. Mm hmm. So. Because it is. <coughs> The Peekaboo Bath Bomb by Whipped Up Wonderful. Need to relax after a horror movie marathon? Toss this in the tub and watch the colors swirl. Okay, so I've watched a couple of unboxings today and um, they could not find the scent, which I did not realize. So the scent was on the item description when I bought it. I just didn't realize that they didn't put it on here. So I looked it up for you guys. Um, it is a warm vanilla candy with top notes of butter with a slight down of almond. And I don't think she showed you this. I did. That was the first thing. And so we've also had questions about what the skull actually is on top of this bath bomb. And it is a mica skull bead. So once you take your bath, make sure um, to fish out this guy so he doesn't clog your drain. How fun. And he's a big bead. Mm -hmm. So you could use him for a... Uh, scissor fob. Oh, he that could be, be the fun. drop for a scissor fob. I might have to do that. <laughs> so there you go. A little bath bomb. Um, tomorrow's gift, I think, is I'm gonna I'm gonna forecast that it is probably going to be the most popular item in the box. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We've had a pretty good one already. So. We have. We've had several really good ones already. Mm -hmm. Um. So I hope you guys have. Been, I think it's going to be the most popular, non-stitchy item oh. in the box. Yeah, could be. That's all you're getting. That was the hint she gave me to tell me what tomorrow's is. <laughs> so now I know. <laughs> Okay. Um, Do you want to start? Or you want me sure. to start? I'm switching projects today, so I could start. You start. Um, I have been stitching on Wicked Stitcher Society by Silver Creek Samplers. Ooh, fun glare today. We're filming a little later, so mm -hmm. we have to close the door, and so we're not as not much natural light. All the fun stuff. Um, and last night you're doing this on. I cannot remember. I said it though on the first video that I pulled this out, but it's from Fabrics by Worker. No, oh. Needleworkers Needle Delight. Needleworkers Delight. Okay. Um, and I can't remember what the tag said. Um, so there you go. Yeah, I've got all of the onyx in on my little witch over there, and she even has face. So I need to add her hair in, and her she's holding a little stitching hoop. I did not give her arms yet. Her arms are also going to be that green color. So yeah. And her socks. Yes. Her purple socks. Part of them. It's it's fun. I'm really liking how it's turning out. Cool. Okay, so I worked on Ichabod Seabury from the Primitive Needle. And um, I was telling you guys that you have to fill in all of the black behind all of the um, words. And so that's what I was working on last night. Here's the whole thing. Mine's on 36 count swamp. Oh, my color is perfect tonight. That is absolutely what color this fabric is. Look at it. It looks great. And I filled in a whole bunch. So that's where I am. And that was day 13. It's I have worked on fun. 13 different projects. Mom wins. <laughs> that was not the goal. Um, I am going to be switching over. Um, I will probably not stitch tonight. I'll probably have to stitch in the morning. Um, but I'm switching over to Plum Street Sampler's Adams Family. <laughs> I'm so excited. Not the Adams Family that you expect. Yes. So, um, I didn't realize that when I ordered this pattern and then I read the back. Um, and it's actually John and Abigail Adams yes. on here. She took a kind of historical twist on it. But I love the Bride of Frankenstein hair. Can we just all admire that real quick? Um, so I am stitching that on uh, Pumpkin Pie from Needle Bling Designs. Um, I picked this up at Galleria. Oh, it's washing it out. It's so much prettier. Maybe closer to my shoulder here is closer to the in-person color. But it's, Let me see. it's with definitely my, with more. With all my black and no color. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
closer at least. It's still a little more yellow and washed out. But, oh, I love it. It's beautiful fabric. Um, I may have gone a little crazy at Needle Bling because it feels, oh. it feels really nice. I like, I like a stiffer linen. Um, so it feels really nice. You and should show them your tag. It's just beautiful. Just, and they'll get the whole company thing. There you there go. There you go. So that's who it's from. It was, it, they had beautiful colors. Yes. Oh, and you guys want to see my project bag? It's from 805 Stitcher. Love those pumpkins. So it's actually like tomatoes. There's like needles and pins and things oh. in there. It's cute. And then all the different cards. Vintage Halloween. I didn't show my project bag for yesterday, which I've used a couple of times. Love you more studio bag. And we have this sleeve this year, except it's almost the reverse. Yeah, it's um purple. Purple and pink on a black background. So there you go. And I will pull something out tonight but um i'm not sure what it will probably be something wicked because all of my friends are finishing it she already has it in the hoop and i, think. I am the last right? one no oh okay i am the last one <laughs> i'm the only one see you just have to finish something and challenge her and then she's like i can do it too oh i was really pushing to get it done this year it's um, on my whip go board and I finished one part of it. I put it on there twice. I finished the first part of it. I finished that huge big shoe. And then my second part is just to finish the rest of it. So that's my second square. And yes, I'm trying to get that done. Okay. And I think that's it. Um, tonight is family advent packing, packaging, sorry, night. Um, so we're all going to work together and watch some movies. I I'm going to push for some Halloween movies. We'll see if I win. Um, <laughs> but we're going to sit in here. As long and, as they're not horror movies. Yeah, mom doesn't do horror. I know this. Um, but we're going to sit in here and work together and work on Christmas while enjoying Halloween. Maybe Hocus Pocus. Or, yes, because I haven't watched it yet. Or um, The Frighteners. The Frighteners. They probably haven't even seen The Frighteners, so that would be fun. They have because I made them watch it last year. Okay. And... Um, Lady in White. I feel like I need to put out a list for everybody yeah. of some of our Halloween and favorites. why can I not think um, Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman? Oh, Practical Magic. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't get there. Katie kept <laughs> saying names and I'm like, no, that's not, I'm like not getting there. All the things. We've already watched The Craft 1 and 2. We did not enjoy number 2 very much, I'm just going to say. It did set you up for a number 3 and we'll see. I'm sure we'll have to watch that if it comes out. Yeah. So, I, I can never say her name. Is it Miam Ball. I, I don't know what her name is. The, the the crazy one from the first one, they tease that she is in it in the second one. She's in there for like five seconds. If you blink, you miss her. And I was not okay with that. One. You know who I mean. <laughs> Such language. Okay. And with that, we really are going to say goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye.